This is the brand new GoPro Hero 12 Black. GoPro's latest and greatest drip. It shoots at 5.3K60, has a boss new log profiles, and has a bunch of new features for the 8x7 sensor. Boss. But hold up, my ninjas, hold up, because we need to know, does it bring the sauce, though? Let's go ahead and grab a coffee because it's Drip Check Monday. Okay, now quick side note, I know we usually do Drip Check Wednesday, but yeah, we're doing Drip Check Monday. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Let's, uh, oh, we are super high. So now we got our coffee. Let's talk about the brand new GoPro Hero. 12. Because my ninjas, you know, you know we got a drip jacket. And if you're new to the channel, we're using go over the pros, the in-betweens, and the cons. So we are going to start off with the pros of the GoPro Hero 12. First pro I got to throw out is the battery life. Now, the battery life is, it is good. I mean, it's not noticeably, like, it doesn't make a huge difference, but it is better than the Hero 11. And it does last longer. When you're using it right, pimping, when, when you're using it right. Next pro I would have to say is the image quality. Now, no joke, I'm not gonna lie, we all know that GoPro brings the sauce when it comes to image quality, and there's no different here. GoPro definitely brings the sauce with the image quality. Hero 11, Hero 10, Hero 12 all have amazing image quality. And now, it's not like noticeably better than the Hero 11, but it is still good, and it is still one of the best in the game. So GoPro definitely gets a plus on the image quality side. Quick side note, I do have to say just a quick comment on the image quality because yeah it is good but i highly recommend shooting in either flat or log like pimp i'm just i'm just being real just being real it just looks a bit waxy like you know what i mean next pro will have to be the audio quality because the audio quality is it is usable i don't care what nobody say again if you just put a windscreen right on the front pimp and you are you gucci and now dji does sound better but I mean, come on. For a GoPro, like, come on. It, the audio quality is solid. Good job. All right, now the next problem I have to call out is the ability to use the Bluetooth mic. Now, I'm, now, I'm not a big fan of it, but I love having the option. Like, pimping options are good. But yeah, that is a, that's huge props to GoPro for doing that because a lot of people who are using these, especially like people who are in like automotive sports, that comes in handy like big, like I cannot tell you how many times I've been using my GoPro and wanted to like shoot something or say something because I shot with my GoPro all the time on my motorcycle, but I couldn't, I couldn't say anything because I didn't really have anything to go with the GoPro. So this is, this is pimping. This is big. It may not be big for me, but I get the appeal. Like I'm telling you, if I still rode my motorcycle, I would, I would use it every day. The next pro has to be the overall user experience as well as the brand new interface. Cause pimping, not gonna lie, haven't froze not one time. I mean, I have had another issue, which I'll get to in a second, but for the most part, it, Pimping, it's it's solid. So overall, user experience is good. No freezing, no stuttering, nothing. And then also the interface is much smoother than what I'm used to with a GoPro. Just overall, great job interface, user experience, big thumbs up for y'all. Cause pimping, I've been I've been waiting for a while. And now since we're on the interface, I will have to say I'm actually really liking the new menu of like the memory card. With that menu, it makes it almost feel like a computer. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, all you have to do is open up the camera, turn it on, swipe down, and then swipe over to the left, and you will see a menu system that tells you how much memory you use, how much memory that's uploaded to the cloud, how much memory is on the mirror. That is a boss feed. And now I saved the best pro for last. And the best pro for the GoPro Hero 12 has to be hands down something that no camera has been able to do this year. No camera has won me over on the price. And pimping, I gotta say, the GoPro Hero 12 won me over because it is $3.99 out of the gate. And pimping, I know that sounds like a lot, but I'm telling you, I remember when I bought the GoPro Hero 10 and I didn't have this subscription, it was like $600. $3.99 is a steal. Now, here in the EU though, this is still a little bit more expensive. It's about 50 bucks more expensive, but pimping, I'm telling you, when I remember the GoPro Hero 10 and Hero 11, they were significantly higher if you did not have the subscription. If you had the subscription, cool, they're running you about maybe 450 for something like that, right? But if you don't have the subscription like I did, like I messed up when I, when I bought the Hero 10, I totally messed up. The GoPro was like $600. I came out, it, 
it worked out to like $600. Plus, I'm also just shocked at the fact that they made it $399 considering all the other things. Like, everything is going up around us. The N360 Go 3, the DJI Osmo Action 4, DJI Osmo Action 2 was expensive too as well. Everything going up, they somehow still made their brand new camera, the newest on the market, $399. So, GoPro, you get the golden price boss award. Because my ninjas, I cannot tell you how much that means to us. <laughs> I mean, y'all know we in a recession. Y'all know I'm looking out. I gotta say the price is good. All right, my ninjas, and now for the in-betweens. Because I don't have that many of them, but it's just, again, these are not cons. They're more, they're literally just more like, just it just kind of confused me. And the first one was something that I actually mentioned in my first press videos that I was a little confused by was the video settings not being in the video settings. It's actually in the camera option menu. So I thought that that's a bit confusing. It's, it's in the preferences. And then something else I noticed too that's a bit confusing too is that the ISO is capped at 400 when shooting in log. Now I did not shoot a lot in log. I just shot a couple of shots and I'm developing a LUT. So like holla at a player. But I was confused why the log profile was limited to 400 ISO. I, I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it was, it, it's just a bit confusing. And then my last one is the screen quality. Now, this is an in-between for me because I just feel like it's time, like GoPro, it, I think it is time for y'all to up the sauce with the screens because it, I'm telling you, it, it doesn't look that good when you're previewing it back on the camera, but it looks solid on computers. Like, I'm just, I'm just saying, these old screens, I, I, I think they're way, they they need to be they need to be replaced. And then I would say my last kind of in betweener on the GoPro Hero 12 has to be the noise. Like just the noise in medium low light is just it's crazy to me, especially like in the blacks, like in the shadows. It's just kind of like it's a bit blue. Now my ninjas for the cons. There's not a lot of them. There's just a, there are some couples that there. There's a couple that I notice personally. The first one being the mounting system. And now this is a con for me only because y'all it's 2023. Like come on y'all, come on y'all know I love magnets. I, I'm on that magnet game. Team Sky Money all day. Me and the whole world would prefer if we just had magnets. And other companies are making them. So why didn't you guys just make it? I, I'm I'm sorry. That, that's just money in y'all pocket. Even if you made it just as an extra accessory. That's money in the bank for y'all. Nirvana, Coldplay, y'all will get them bands. But y'all gotta take initiative because the mounting system is just outdated and I'm tired of it. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm tired of this screwing and... And now, my next con has to be something that I noticed the other day, which is that the record button doesn't always work for some reason. For some reason, I'll press record. It is recording, but then when I press record to stop it, it's, it's still recording. So, but yeah, the, take a look at the record button because the record button doesn't work sometimes so that that's a con for me and now my next con i'm gonna have to go ahead and say it is we're not getting a front-facing touchscreen now i i know that's super picky but like after you use the dji cameras you realize that yeah that's that's actually extremely helpful like pin before real i'm just super saying i would have loved a front touchscreen i'm come on <laughs> and i know i know i'm not the only one like a front touchscreen would that would have been amazing. But again, it's the, it's the recycled screens again because the, the screen resolution is the same as the Hero 10, Hero 11. It's all the same. And I think, again, it's time for y'all to upgrade. And then my last con, I would have to say, would have to be that it's not that bad, but it is something that I've noticed is that it is not, it's not as like responsive as the DJI cameras. Like, I'm sorry, but I hate to compare, but that's the only thing I, DJI is just, it. But yeah, GoPro, it does feel like y'all are kind of falling behind when it comes to like the responsiveness of the camera. Like it's so much better than the older one, but it cannot keep up with DJI. DJI is just snap, boom, snap, boom. And you out, boom, boom, record, boom, stop, boom. Like everything is just way more responsive than these GoPro cameras. But then that is pretty much it. The GoPro Hero 12 review in a nutshell. Overall, it does pass the drip check. Now, if you have the GoPro Hero 11, I do not recommend getting this because your GoPro Hero 11 is good enough. But yeah, if you rocking like something like super old, then go for it because it is a good buy. Pimping, the price, pimp. You, GoPro, great job keeping this at an affordable price.
Ninja, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, let me know what you guys think of the brand new GoPro Hero 12. Do you like it? Do you gonna cop it? Do you think it sucks? I would love to know down below. But yep, yeah, my ninjas, that is it, and I will see you in the next one.